three tables right following are the partly shown tables in relational database of uh, sports team management system now we have one table here just a minute right so we have player table we have team table and player team table now uh, what you should understand here is that uh, the main entities are these uh, the player entity and the team entity right and the uh, the relationship between these two is many to many and you know many to many relationship is not uh, kept in database because it leads to data duplication so the solution is to divide it into two one to many relationships with a third table so that third table is this so what happens is player table will be linked to player team team table will be linked to uh, player team okay now uh, the other thing you notice is the primary keys of these two tables will be repeated here as the foreign key you can see team id is repeated here okay so team id here in this table is the primary key here is the primary key but here uh, individually uh, there are foreign keys individually they are foreign keys but together they will form the primary key t1 uh, p2 t1 p4 t2 p3 understand so both these will be the primary key together and when we have more than one field serving as a primary key we call it composite key good composite key uh, write down the primary key of the team table team table the primary key yeah um, right so write down the primary key of uh, the team table team table uh, it's team id right team id write down the possible primary keys available in the player table player table you can see uh, there are two fields which have unique values this one is having unique values and this one is also having unique values right yeah right yeah because the student becomes a player so they should be having a, a unique player id so player id or student id right uh, which table or tables needs uh, to be updated to accommodate the following changes a new student pl always <coughs> is admitted to the school and joins under 17 career team now first of all let's see whether under 17 career team is there under 17 career team is there there's a captain okay uh, and this one shows uh, team ID play ID year joint that's for each uh, individual uh, player right uh, so first of all he has to be admitted to the uh, player table right player table where he's uh, given a player ID so player table is one mm then uh, you have to change this one right player team is it player team because he belongs to uh, which team uh, under 17 uh, cricket team which is uh, t2 right so you put uh, t2 and play id the new play id for him uh, and then uh, the year joint he's joined in uh, 2019 so what are the two tables player and player player team right okay First two questions uh, we did, right? We did. This one, this one. Yeah, we did, right? Primary key of the team table is uh, team table is as a team table, yeah. Team ID uh, and uh, write down possible primary keys for player. Uh, it's either player ID or student ID. Right. So player ID is uh, more suitable because uh, it's the player table, right? Uh, Nimal Fernando is appointed the captain of under 19 volleyball team. So Nimal Fernando is already there. Uh, so where do we mention the captain? It's in the team table, right? <coughs> He's already joined. So his record is already here. So it has to be uh, the team table, right? Is it correct? Yes. Yes, fine. Just check your answers and correct, right? Any, uh, any. Uh, uh, issue any any doubt let me know write down the new records to be added to the relevant tables for the change mentioned in part 2a 2a is this one um, use the format table name fields for each record 
okay first of all uh, for this one uh, we need to update these two no these two right yeah so what will be the uh, play and player team right yeah so what will be the uh, record for player table has he given a player id uh, yes p1120 is the player id and then we need the first name first name is pl right and the last name is uh, alvis and the student id is uh, student id is uh, s4205 and uh, when you when you put a record to this one uh, it will be uh, he wants to join uh, under 17 cricket team no? under 17 cricket team is t2 t2 and the player id is uh, 1120 and the year joined is 2019 right will you check your answer yeah uh, in 2019 the school starts an under 17 football team so it's a new team so it has to be uh, here first right and the team id is team 7 uh, which is uh, football and under 17 uh, and uh, do they have a captain and appoints uh, Shane Almeida as the captain Shane Almeida's um, player id is p1005 uh, uh, write down the new record to be added uh, to the relevant table or tables for the above change so uh, new team uh, appointed new team uh, formed but appoints uh, an existing player right so what are what is the table or what are the tables we had update huh? team and team and play team why do you need uh, play team isn't uh, Shane uh, there already yeah right oh yes uh, team yeah that, that's correct that's correct because uh, according to this method uh, he can join another team right so it's uh, t7 and uh, p1005 and he'll be joining the team mm, in 2019 and then uh, t7 here uh, it will be football under under 17 and uh, p1005 who is the captain right so these two teams right uh, which tables are to be joined to write a query to find the name of under 19 cricket captain under 19 cricket that is team 1 team 1 uh, or captain id is player 10 p1002 p1002 is here and his name is Raj Selvan so what are the tables that you have to join team and player yeah, last question yeah. team and player literally it's correct but practically you have to use the third table as well because now these two tables are not linked directly it is linked they are linked through the third table the middle table right so what you do is uh, you first look for the uh, it's the uh, under 19 grade captain so team 1 under 19 cricket find the captain id uh, map the uh, captain id in the player id here p1002 and then p1002 is the foreign key which refers to the primary key of the player and there you map it and then find the first name and the last name understand right uh, he actually what happens is like uh, mm, mm, yeah this link is mapped through the team id this link is mapped through the team id uh, but at the same time we take the captain id as well because we need to map this one right? player to player we need to map so we need the captain id from here okay so you have to use all three tables okay so did, did you write did you write only yeah all three tables player player team and team what which tables are to be joined to write a query to find so if you want to find uh, uh, if 
you want to find uh, the name you can join all three because like <coughs> you can you can do it with these two tables as well because uh, you know uh, now if you if you know uh, the cricket team's uh, team id and the captain's uh, player id then these two are sufficient because you can put t1 and p1002 as a criteria right that's that's they are what happens is you look, look at this table and find those two and put it right but there you don't put uh, under 19 cricket as criteria you understand right so same thing that you would be doing in uh, in the query what you do is you look up this table and find the team uh, team id and the captain id and then pass them to these two uh, i mean this table as the criteria and then of course you, these two are enough but uh, since they have given uh, cricket and uh, under 19 we have to pass cricket and under 19 as criteria therefore we need this table as well right so it's all three tables otherwise like otherwise we going through the table and finding the values is not uh, not the idea of a query no idea of the query is we have to pass them as criteria and the database will do it for us okay right so that's the end of uh, the database question uh, paper 2019 english uh, medium uh, the second paper database question